So we're gonna talk a little bit about makeup. And uh, yeah, so I've prepped my face with um, my daily skincare. So RE9 is what I use. And now I'm gonna start with the primer. So this is a daily piece for me. Um, even if it's just a Saturday and, and I'm just gonna go uh, to the farmer's market and everything, I always put my primer on. This is a brand new one, obviously. You don't need very much. You can see here how use and the primers like really helps fill in all the fine lines and wrinkles and <laughs> uh, deep habits or whatever they're called um, so primers just like when you prime a wall with um, primer uh, it really allows for the makeup to come in and set better so um, even in the dark parts it really works well so really light it's like velvet it is one of the I have to say one of our top top sellers uh, next to the eye gel mask and the mascara. So primer, you start with that. And then some days I use the um, CC cream. And then today I'm actually gonna use the full coverage, the um, liquid foundation. And I just uh, learned this from my lovely friend, Patty. I put a bit on my hand and then I'm just gonna use a um, the little, I don't even know what these things are called. So dabbing. I'm gonna have to use partially here because of my uh, vision right now. So the one thing about it is Opti Light, very, very light. I have to say um, that I, my makeup journey, um, most of my, up until about, I'd say 25, I'd say into my 30s, I wore very little. Um, and I have to say, uh, working with Arbon, I wear, a lot more than I would ever have used before. And, and because it's really light, I've learned how to apply it, what works, what doesn't work. And that's what uh, working with um, an Arbonne consultant means that you can um, find out what works for you, right? So um, most days, you know, I, I do put, put uh, a little bit on to um, give me some, some coverage um some make me feel good some confidence um get rid of some of the fine lines and wrinkles when i'm uh, on uh, i do quite a bit of filming with my um social media business so um yeah i like to have a little bit of coverage and look my best for myself and for my audience so when i do apply a foundation it's so light, it's Opti light. So you can see it is improving, but it's so light to the hand. Uh, make sure you even out all in here. I've learned most of my tricks from, or most of my makeup from a few friends, Patty Lewis, who's been my um, makeup um, go-to since before I was with Arbonne. She did my makeup when I got married, which was 32 years ago. And uh, then recently more with my uh, teammate, Sarah Allen, and another uh, friend from Down Under, Brenda Todd, who is part of the Ageless Lounge. So you can see it's really light. It doesn't, it's got a really light, soft touch. It has that nice Opti light. I'm gonna have to put my hair back a bit while I do this. Um, so a really light touch, which I really like. And it is layerable, so I can just layer those few little spots. Um, if I had a few, I've got a new little eight spot I'm working on right here. So you can put a little bit there and then underneath and a little bit on the, and for me, the dark circles. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you uh, how do you could do this every day, real simple. And that is that. I am then going to apply the concealer. I cannot live without concealer. Oh my goodness, this is a brand new one again. So I can I might not be able to. Oh, there we got it. Got it open. So for me, uh, I do suffer from the dark circles under uh, my eyes. And so again, sorry, I have to use uh, my mirror uh, a little bit, you guys, because I'm not using my glasses right now. So and again, I'm just going to use the little sponge and feed it under there. And it just goes on in a nice even coverage if you have some blemishes or somewhere you need to need it. We have a few different colors of the concealer, so we could uh, set up some color matching, what works best for you, but that really does help. And I gotta say, I've only started using these little balls, these little, um, what the heck are they called? And for the last while, and they sure do go on, it does does go on, the makeup goes on a lot even, evenly and er, and easier, easier. Oh. Um, 
so one of the times that I really had to start looking at makeup and, and eye pencils and different things was uh, I have a very um, sparse eyebrow here. I have a crazy overactive thyroid and well, quite a few years ago I lost that eyebrow completely and had to have my friend Patty help me with that. So I just simply fill in a little bit in here in the uh, and just follow where my eyebrow would be. And I just take the medium, I just kind of follow it a little bit, uh, make it look as natural. I like a very natural light look. Uh, this side, sorry, I have to go, it needs a little bit more because I have very sparse in there. Um, I have quite a few clients that are getting um, graying in their eyebrows. So just a, you know, a couple of gray hairs here, there. So just a little bit of this eye pencil, uh, eyebrow pencil really, really helps. And I mean, if you don't have a nice, if you're just light, if you have a nice brown, light brown eye, uh, pencil you can use that too and then get a brush and then you simply ours comes with a brush on the other side the one thing about what with the makeup with Arbonne everything is pure safe and beneficial and everything helps so this eyebrow pencil helps to grow your eyebrows and condition them so give it a little brush and now I have nice I have two eyebrows okay so I always make sure that's kind of my base again um, with the foundation or with the CC cream if you want something a little bit lighter Okay, so then I am going to now do the, I'm gonna do some eye color. That's usually what I do next. And this is our uh, new palette for kind of summer. It's got some great little colors. I'm going to just use a light overall color on the eye um, eyelid. Again, just to, I've noticed that with a little bit of age, I have developed uh, somewhat of some um, discoloration in the eye lid. So I'm just going to use a very light um, base color, this kind of brownie. Um, again, I'm going to have to use, sorry guys, I'm going to have to use this and just give it a little bit of color on the bottom. And it's just a little sheen. And the pigments, the one thing about you need very little product. I, I have a really hard time finishing any of these palettes ever before a new palette comes in. I'll find that I found two or three of the colors that I use more than anything. Um, again, I will uh, work with uh, a couple of people, with Sarah and with Brenda to help me to figure out what I can do with some of the other colors in here because otherwise I'll end up using most of, you'll see already, I've started using some of those colors but not some of the darker colors. And I want to be able to use all of them. So then I will take uh, a little bit of the darker, which is this little, that little hue in there. It's not really dark, more of a sand. And I'm just gonna take it all over and I'm going to just start in the, in the corner and just, do, I would call it the windshield wiper and just go over and highlight the uh, part of the eye here. Keep it far away. That's why somebody told me they uh, make them longer so we don't put too much pressure and give that a little bit of highlight. I, I am not a makeup artist, I have just, learned and so my technique and like I'm just doing what everyday people do <laughs> my, so there you go gives a little bit of highlight in there um, that's pretty much all I do in there I might take a little bit of eye pencil because I am going to be doing a little bit of uh, filming later on and put a little bit underneath to give it a little bit of accent but very little there for me and just a little on the edges and then I bring everything up I'll blend with bringing it up, as my good friend Laura has taught me also. We want to bring everything up as we age. So again, I'm going to bring everything up to blend at the end. Okay, and I just put a little bit, you can see there, hopefully. And I just have the natural light, obviously, of this beautiful scenery I'm in. And, I've, and um, a bright light to give me a ring light to give you a little bit more light so you can see it. The other piece that we all very much enjoy is our mascara. I know a lot, it's called Speak Volumes Mascara. I know a lot of people who can't wear mascara because of what is in mascara. Um, and so this is, uh, it has great volume, has very nice, it, it only comes in, and I just got some on my eyelid, only comes in one color, um, but it gives you great volume and really nice eyelashes and it's not clumpy and you can wear it because it is all, um, no dyes, chemicals, or fragrances, so it's a natural, really nice botanical. Oh man, does it ever give you eyelashes, eh? Look at the difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead, and you don't need to, there's so much on the wand, you don't have to very much go in and uh, 
fill it up again. A uh, little tip, how long do you keep your mascara? No more than three months, ladies. And if you've ever had eye infection, um, you'll know why. Um, and the other thing is you do not need to put, you can let it set one and then re-layer uh, it. Everything's layerable, but I, I find I don't need much. And again, you guys, when you need to fill it up, do this, do not pump it because that puts air in and gives it bacteria. So that's, I'm, I'm pretty good with that. For me, for every day, that's great for eyelashes. It gave me eyelashes, especially on my right eyelash is always better than my left. That, that, that. And then the, I'm just gonna do some um, highlighting. Again, I've learned this from a few people. So I'm gonna take, this palette is to die for. And so there's my highlighter here. I'm just gonna put a little bit uh, in my cheek area here. And a little bit here in the cheek area. Just to lift again everything lifting a little bit on the on the uh, forehead sorry i should have pinned back my hair a little bit and then i'm going to just take the nice little peach with uh which has got a little bit of um, color in it and highlight in there again i'm going to have to use my mirror because i'm blinded by the light there on top of that highlighter don't need much give it a i'm just gonna blend it and then I like to just put a little bit of um, a little bit of pinky on my cheeks and this is one of the pinks that we used to have we still have but it's just got a little bit of and I put a little bit of that in the apple just to give it that little bit of a little bit of rosiness and it depends if you've got rosacea or redness or anything we can talk about that what to do and what not to do on that and then uh, a little bit of lip liner just to give the lips some lining and give them some depth because I don't have very uh, start her here again bring everything up not down if you bring it down tend to bring it down so if, I'm sorry so I bring it up this way you have a mush together and then I am just going to use a real natural lip gloss, a tiny bit of color. Um, that is pretty much, I'll just have a little look. I think I've got everything I usually have on. Pretty much my everyday go-to, uh, you know, and it's taken me a little bit longer. It usually takes me maybe five minutes. Um, a couple of things, OptiLite. Uh, I'm just gonna go through a couple more things. The primer, yeah, dim diminishes pores and fine lines and wrinkles. And it's a soft focus uh, soothing primer uh, with hyalur hy hyaluronic spheres, green tea extract. So Empower, uh, primer, complexion settings. We're all about helping you look and feel great in your own skin because we believe that the foundation to living and uh, that's, that's the foundation to living an empowered life. Sometimes a touch of concealer or a full coverage look is what inspires you to feel your best, whatever the day calls for. So I love that in our lovely new catalog. Sometimes I look for the words to say and I just read it through the Arbonne catalog because this is something, um, a company that I work with and follow and have for the last 13 years. So that is simply what it is. So my clients get between 20, a minimum of 20% off up to 40% off, depending on what package you're looking for. So what I want to do is work with you. We can have do a call. We can do a Zoom. I can have a look at what, what uh, colors you do have. We can uh, offset what you might have fill in what you need and then help you to get what works for your skin tone. So that's what I'm here to help. I'm very, um, um, in it thrive. I love to thrive and help out and passionate about uh, skincare, makeup and looking your best with as with the best products that you can have. So again, DM me, get a hold of me and let's, uh, let's get you some color. And, and something that works for you that makes you feel really, really good. So that's uh, makeup for this fine, lovely day. Look at that, look at that view, beautiful. So I'm off to the races and uh, we'll be in touch and I hope we hear from you soon. Take care.